Hello, it's Nezo here uh, at the Strictly Sideways Club. Welcome to the Bad Shop. I'm your host. I did that totally backwards, but this is a just roll in the shop segment. So my buddy said, uh, well, I'm having trouble spinning my wheels, but they do spin now, but he was having trouble spinning them and spinning the transmission. But I noticed the motor was a little crooked, and I'm like, well, it looks like your motor mounts are a little loose, bud. And uh, yeah, it is, because see here? That's that big nut there is loose. This is a uh, Reeb DMC1. So his motor had popped all the way out there and was on an angle. Where? Yeah, and was on an angle. So look, look how loose it's gotten. We, we won't mention Shane's name. Yeah, we won't mention Shane's name. I just will reach it. That, definitely don't show who it is that the culture is. It's yeah. almost like reach Bluetooth motor mount mode. Don't point the camera. Don't point the camera. I don't do that unless they stick their face in it. That's okay. So anyways. Um, It'll be an easy fix on this one, but I just wanted to illustrate that. Um, I've seen this a few times on MC1, so make sure you do check that nut right there that holds the motor mount on, because that's what's come loose. The motor itself is still screwed in fine. Now, but the, oh look, but because the motor mount's been loose for a bit, we can see a little damage incurred on the spur gear. Look at it, it's put a groove in the spur gear right down the middle. Oh, I see. Because she's been sitting like, uh, oh, hold on. Can we pop this back off? Ricky, can you do the honors? There we go, yeah. So it's been sitting like kind of like this. There, like that. Uh-oh. Off. See how it's engaged? The back of the pinion there? That's what's been grooving her. You've been sending her, bud. No Check wonder... Match, boys and girls. Well, no, <laughs> no wonder you're like, wow, throttle feels a little weird some corners, and other corners it's fine. It locked up. <laughs> and it locked up. It locked up. As it soon locked as I let up. off the throttle, the wheel's just locked. Yep, just locked. Well, now we know. So that'll be a quick fix and we'll make sure it's good and then uh, we'll send it again. Check everything else, but we should be good now. Yes, stay tuned for more Hello, it's Nezo again. Another just rolled in the shop segment. And guess what? It's my car. It's my RDX. Look, there's my logo. And this is an interesting one because that, as you can see, my wheel has too many positive cambers. And this is this is kind of a classic failure because if I... If I oh, wait. Did I... Oh, I didn't plug my car in, but okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate to you the failure here, but I have to turn the car on first. So let me let me get this illustrated. We're here late night at Strictly Sideways Club. I was running my last battery, and uh, well, this wheel is pretty much toast because if I try to give the car a bit of gas here, see that wheel nut spinning? The wheel's going nowhere, so I, I blew the, I blew the, look, the brake disc is spinning, but the wheel isn't. See all that breakage in there, all the, all the not existing wheel hub of the, of the wheel? Yeah, this, this wheel's spinning. Oh, actually not, sorry, that's not spinning because it's all unloading over here, right. I forgot, my Rhino's doing that though. Anyways, I need a new wheel and a brake disc, but I got aluminum brake disc hub on, uh, on, uh, on tap in the parts box so she's very broken but guess what that's a Reeve D and uh, I've uh, a couple of these have broken already same same wheel design yeah oh well <laughs> I'll get some new wheels and away we go look <laughs> right so new wheels and easy fix way go but I'm loving my car so um, yeah we'll go from there Ah yes, Easy bonus break. gratuitous footage. I forgot to, I couldn't rip the wheel off because I had one hand on the camera and stuff, but there's what's left of the wheel hub and there's what's left of the brake disc. <laughs> so, oh, you can see the pin right clear. These are weak anyway, and I already knew this was cracked, so that's not a big, I already knew I had to replace this, but like, I, I sheared it completely, so very nice. So I gotta replace a wheel and I gotta, <laughs> I gotta replace. <laughs> Guys here late night, yeah, they like that one. So I gotta replace a wheel and I gotta replace a, uh, what you call it, a uh, brake disc hub. Yep, I got them on top, easy fix, way go.